Um, you might know this song, and sometimes I actually burst into a second version of it. Mercy done, mercy done, was the start of this, start of this, and in the shadows bleeps done. When I come, when I come, when I stay home, stay home, home, when I feel the shadows bleeps, can I believe? Cause I don't have a word of If you say goodbye, they'll die, but surely cry. Maybe even die, cause I don't have a word of There's no strings upon this part of me. Cause I'll raise you from the start. still the fun there. You can't see me smiling. My smile got to twice as big as it was because we had our dancer at the back. <laughs> it looked really good. So, um, as I said, we also sang Irish songs there. And then I came to the States and um, we lived initially in, in Pennsylvania and I used to go to Philadelphia, Glenside, and a whole bunch of musicians there and I'd go to Baltimore and there were a whole bunch of musicians there. They, these were authentic Irish musicians. They were incredible. And uh, I started playing Irish music pretty much full time for the next few years. And this is a song that I remember from my childhood. And um, I started singing it again back then. It's called Bridget Flynn. I'm, I'm terrible with titles. That's why I like playing with other people, because they all go, Bridget Flynn. <laughs> so I knew it, yeah. But. To find a girl that's got a good life. And I know the 
way he says it, but that's the one I miss more. My mother makes a whole thing. I don't know. Maybe so. But to qualify them to a great day for you. Now there's a little Bridget Flynn, and now there's one of my little If she'd only have a life for me. So when I go travelling, I always take my ukulele with me because this fits in overheads without any problem on planes. What does it sound like? This is my my command baritone. <laughs> Um, I live in Tucson, and um, although we live downtown, we've got this really lovely patio garden that we have on the side of our house. And I was sitting on this kind of swing that we've got there, going backwards and forwards. And I had the ukulele, and I was just making, sort of picking little notes out on the chords. And um, suddenly these words came to me. And uh, people have often asked, what's the song about? Is it a lost love song? Yeah, might be. I don't think so. It might be. Could be. Um, it could also be a song about somebody dying. Um, it could be a song about lots of different things. So you can make up your own mind what you want it to be about. But I call it Strawberry Hill. And I'm not really sure why I call it Strawberry Hill. Thank you. 
for us. So much time ahead, no need to rush. Forever, happen to forever. And the promise never to say goodbye. And Cyril, Cyril Pahmuri, who was just an amazing musician, the whole Pahmuri family, in fact. Um, I had a mentor, and he was one of the first Hawaiian musicians that I ever met. Um, that's George Kahamoku. And uh, I still remember the first time I met George, and we went along to a workshop that he was running, and it was going to end up with a little concert. And he said, oh, you can play some Irish now. And I said, yeah, thank you, great, okay. So he said, you play the Irish stuff, and I'm going to just go around the back, which actually meant he was going to go in the kitchen and eat whatever food was there. And I picked up my guitar and discovered that he'd actually retuned it into tarot patch tuning, which I'd never played in my life. And I'm not very good at retuning things quickly, so I thought, oh, I can master this, no problem. It's an open chord. You know, you can go wrong. You can't go wrong. Well, you can go wrong, I discovered. <laughs> but um, I spent ages sort of trying to master this uh, tarot patch tuning. And, yeah, it might happen one day, but, you know, I, I can do a bit now. Um, but it did introduce me to Hawaiian music and Hawaiian musicians. Um, and I've met quite a lot. They've all been great influences on me. And uh, this is a, a song. We were on Kauai out in Vainea, same with a musician out there, uh, Elwood Machado, who is a great singer and he plays ukulele. And he taught me the song that he'd written and uh, I started singing it. Called My Hawaiian Sweetie. I saw you walk down the street, all the boys turned their heads. Oh, my sweet, I am sweet.
And um, this is another song that I wrote and um, recently recorded it for a new album that I'm going to do. There is a story behind this actually. I visited my one of my sons, my two sons, out of them, uh, live in California. And one is in El Segundo and the other is up in Topanga, um, sort of halfway up the canyon. And um, we were actually visiting the Topanga one. And uh, his guitar was totally unplayable. The strings were totally rusty. A couple of them were broken. And I couldn't play it. And I hadn't taken an instrument with me. So I looked and I found a little soprano ukulele. And they're tiny little things. And I got these big hands. And all I could do was actually play the bottom two strings. If I tried any other string, I was hitting everything wrong. My fingers were too big. And I just sat there and discovered this little riff. And uh, later I thought, uh, later I thought, I'm going to have to write a song that fits this little thing on ukulele because I can play it on this one here. And um, so I actually wrote the songs which um, the song is actually called A Summer Song for Chrissy or A Summer Song for Christina. Um, but when I started singing it, everyone, well, actually when I was playing, people would say, sing Blue Eyes. And I had no clue what song they were talking about until they sort of described it to me and I realised that must be the title of this song. I'm not very good at inventing titles, obviously.